Hi folks, I'm Lou with Living Our Dream Now, and in this video I show you how to create your own Google Map in 2024, step by step. First, make sure that you're signed in to your Google account. Then come down and type in mymaps.google.com. We're now on Google Drive under My Maps, and you can see I have some maps here. I use Google Maps as the first step in my RV trip planning process, so in this tutorial I'm going to name, I'm going to create a map for you, walk you through the process step by step, and uh, we're going to name the map we're going to create Master Camping Map. So the first thing you want to do is come up here to create a new map, you're going to click on it, click create, and you come up here and it says Untitle Map. So first we want to title our map. And we're going to name it Master Camping Map. And we're going to type in a description. And we're going to save it. So now we have our map. Master Camping Map is the title. And you see one layer here and it's untitled. So in this tutorial I'm going to create three layers and demonstrate um, for you what you can do with those layers. So the first thing we want to do is name this layer. And the first layer we're going to name Free Camping. We're going to save it. And to create another layer you just go up here to Add Layer. And then again you click on Untitled Layer. And we're going to name this layer U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Campgrounds. Now you can do this for any purpose. I'm just doing it for camping because that's what I'm used to. And we're going to do one more layer. And we're going to name this third layer Passport America Campgrounds. And we're going to save it. So something I want to point out to you, you see this blue uh, bar? That shows you what layer you're on on your map. And why that's important is uh, if you add a location, which we're going to do right now for each one of these, uh, that's where it's going to put it. Now you can change what layer, your the, lo the pins you put on your map, at any time but initially it's going to put it where the blue highlight is. So now let's add our first camping location in, under free camping and that's going to be Wilderness Landing Park in Baker, Florida. And you just click the Add to Map. We're going to color code this. Black's going to signify free camping for this for uh, illustration purposes. And let's see, let's go to map icons and we're going to type in, I want an RV, so let's type in RV. And there you see an RV right there. We're going to click OK. And now we have our black map icon with an RV. And you can see that is now under free camping. So let's add one under U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Campgrounds. So we want to come down here and hit the blue icon. Come up here and we're going to type in East Bank Campground. And I know exactly where that's at because I've camped there. And again, we're going to click here and we're going to make this crimson color and again we're going to choose now we've already used the RV icon so it's in it's listed for us so we don't have to go search for it and something else I want to show you this is very handy you can make notes on here and I'll show you how to do that on the next one so now we're going to go to Passport America Campgrounds and we're going to add one there. And this is going to be Hitchin Post RV Park and Campground in Florida. 
Cottondale, Florida. We're going to make this icon green. And again, we want an RV. And I've stayed here as well, and I know that they have no restrictions on when you can use the Passport America discount. So I'm going to make a note of that. No restrictions. And there, there's my note. You can also put links to websites uh, that will that are clickable in with the notes as well. So this I get a lot of use out of the notes. What I want to show you is if you want to switch layers, let's say you got it in the wrong layer, you can easily switch where these are. See, so now the Hitchin Post is up here under Army Corps of Engineers. And if I want to put it back down here, all I have to do is drag it down. So you're not locked in, but it does help to know what that blue bar means. Here are all three layers shown on the same custom Google map. You can continue to add locations under each layer or create new layers as you please. I hope you got something out of the video. That's why I make them.